hello, hello, Diana Smith here with Pep. Um, this video is going to be kind of interesting. We are getting ready to record another YouTube video. So the horses can't go looking real sketchy on camera. And I thought it would be fun for you to see how they, well, one, how sketchy they look right now. And then um, just getting them ready to actually do the filming of a video. And right here, I'm going to loosen up this halter and use the clippers. This right here is called a bridle path. Now, some people may or may not have it on their horses because I used to show I love a bridle path. It's just an area where the halters sit and then you don't get a bunch of matted up hair here. Um, some people don't do it and you know, it's personal preference, but my horses have to have a trim. And because I used to show, I really, really like keeping them looking cute. I mean, I don't go around unshowered with my hair looking messy, so I don't like my horses that way either. I'm gonna get his little whiskers so he doesn't look like an ungroomed old man. And for those of you that think the horse needs their whiskers because they sense it like a cat, more power to you, let your horse be whiskery and dirty. Again, maybe that's personal preference, but I like them looking clean and well kept. The flies are horrible right now, but you will definitely want, you'll understand why I am not dousing him right now with fly spray. If you're curious about that, watch this video right here and it will answer the question as to why I am not giving him relief with fly spray right now. Actually take off these never, I never take his eyelashes off because they're beautiful, but these little, well, I'll do it. There's like these little long, but see, look at these eyelashes, like right here. His eyelashes are gorgeous. It's just these long, sketchy ones. They're like the, it's kind of like the hairy big eyebrows. We keep our brows groomed, so, but not our lashes. What I do here, because it is, we do get flies and bugs. If, like I said, if he was going to a show, some people will clean the ears totally out, but realistically, he's gonna stand in the yard for a YouTube video. So all I do here to take some of the fuzzy, the hair keeps the flies and bugs out of his ears. But what I do is I close his ears like this, and then you see these hairs coming out. Can you see them okay? It's kind of like, you know, old men who have the hair coming out of their ears. You wanna turn that shit. So we call a curry comb. So it's hard rubber and it's got teeth on it. And even if it's not shedding season, you do this in circular motions all over and it just gets the dirt and the dead hair. And they love it. But see, it's not shed season and look at all this crap comes off. I, this is not a promotion by any means, so we won't pay attention, but this is a product that makes their skin or their hair all nice and shiny and super, super soft, really slick. And these are just two brushes and I just love them on both hands and just brush. When it comes to his mane, now it's totally personal preference. Again, it's just like the bridal path is personal preference. With their manes, I don't ever use like a regular brush because I like their manes to be long. His used to be a lot longer, but I'm not as worried about crimping him that way. But anyhow, I don't usually take like a rough brush. So I put something on it 
or I wash it so it makes it really slick and I can run my fingers through it, but I don't want to lose hair. So. So I just use a soft brush that isn't gonna pull his mane out. If I actually wanna brush through his mane, I do that after he's had a bath. White nose as it gets dirty. Also, for those of you that might not realize it, these little white nose, I have to keep sunscreen on it in the summer so that he doesn't sunburn. What I'm doing here is putting a tiny bit of fly spray on him, just a very tiny bit because the flies are horrible. Um, watch the video I've referred to a couple times and you'll realize one, why I'm putting a tiny bit on, and two, I will rinse it off when we're done with our little photo shoot in the backyard. And you'll know why when you watch this video. <laughs> Hi, handsomest. Hi, handsomest. His tail, same thing with his tail as with his body or his mane. I like them to have a long tail. So I just put a treatment in here. And I'm not gonna use a brush because it takes too much of the length out. Here's an interesting little tidbit. If you, I've done this because I show, and the sport that I used to show in was we would go at a dead run down the way and we'd say, whoa, and their back legs tuck up under them and their front legs run. It's a sport called reining. And then after they do that, they one of a, the other maneuvers is they have to run backward practically. When they do that, when a horse backs up and their butt tucks under and they back up, they'll step on their own tail, which is gonna hurt. It's like ripping out your own damn ponytail. Nobody wants to do that. So. Again, personal preference, groom how you want to groom, but it's my channel, my horse, my way of grooming. Oh, something scared another horse. Looks like I've done this not too long ago. And then, but anyhow, I would do this and then I would just nub it off so that if he backs up with it about that length, he isn't gonna pull his own tail out. Because if you, if you compete with the horses and they back up quick and pull their own tail out, they'll stop backing up so willingly for you because they will equate going backward with pulling their hair out. So I know that's way more advanced than we planned on covering on this, but hey, knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is power. Actually, let me correct you, or let me correct myself. Knowledge is not power. It is the, what the hell am I talking? What am I thinking? Lily, what am I thinking? I think that he looks handsome as hell. So with that, he is going to go in the backyard and be the star of said YouTube video. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.